Okay guys, I got another review for you here. I'm going to show you the uh, Work Sharp Knife and Tool Sharpener. As you see here, here's the box. Um, it says serrated, hunting, cut hook knives, scissors, fillet knives, arrowheads, um, more. Uh, actually in addition to that, uh, you can do some uh, outdoor tools, shovels, axes, that type of thing. Uh, here it shows what it comes with. Uh, you get the uh, Work Sharp power platform, belt sharpening module, kitchen knife guide, outdoor knife guide, abrasive belt kit, quick start guide, and instructional DVD. And here you can see the back as well. See, lawnmower blades, axes. And this basically shows how the uh, system works. It works with the uh, flexible belts to use the convex grinds. So, actually show you the box is empty, but I'll uh, drop this down, show you what you get in the box. So, here's your first guide. As you can see here, you got 220 degrees and uh, 40 degree. Then you got your 50 degree, 65 degree, and then your serrated knife. Now, here's the actual unit itself. Now, in this position, it's actually considered to be the grinding position. So when you're going to be grinding, um, I'll do a video where I'm grinding the axe. Um, you know, it's going to push in like this. That's how you're going to come down on it. And then, in order to move the actual unit itself, as you can see here, there's just different notches that this clicks in. So, this is actually going to be your knife sharpening position. That way, when you have it set down on the table, it's going to be pointing directly up. This is going to be your tracking adjustment. And then here is obviously your tensioner. And the nice thing about this is you just push it and turn it, and then the belts pop out. And you're just going to take, you know, your next belt. Just basically have to feed it in here. Get it in, and then you just take this, turn it. And it just automatically catches. Then once you actually start the unit up, it'll self-track it to where it needs to be. So we'll put this one back on. And you'll see, I'll turn it on here. It just self-tracks where it needs to go. These two pins here are where your knife atta attachments are actually going to clip in. You'll just slide right in here like this. And then see so you've automatically got your degree set up. And what you're going to do whenever you sharpen the knife is you're just going to pull it through. It says um, five times for each side for a total of ten. Um, and then it will also say uh, to pull it through for, I believe it's one second for a four inch knife. So, you know, if it's smaller than that, you can kind of do the adjustment yourself. But you just literally pull it straight through. Uh, the belts you get are you get two of the green coarse belts, two of the red medium belts, and then two of the purple fine belts. Uh, here's the instruction manual. Or user's guide, I should say. Uh, all your safety information. Shows you the actual uh, sharpening. And in different positions. Uh, setup, like I said, super easy. Uh, tells you about. Now, this is where it shows you how to use the different guides. Uh, you have your kitchen knives. Outdoor knives, there's your serrated, <clears throat> partial serration, hunting knives, 
uh, gut hook and blades with deep concave curves. Single bevel, uh, bevel knives and fillet knives, scissors, tools, and then once again there's another sharpening tools such as the uh, pruners and shears. Over here was the hand tools. And then uh, blades for like lawn mowers. And then they also have a guide in here for uh, grinding, polishing, and deburring. So uh, what we'll do is I'll go ahead and sharpen up my uh, Benchmade Griptilian. It's, uh, it's still pretty sharp, but what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and you know clean it up a bit. So what I'll do is they recommend the red blade, and then what they're going to have you do is <clears throat> I'll drop the camera down a little bit here. Um, I'm just going to turn it on. Five pulls. It's pretty sharp. We'll go ahead and put the other blade on, or the other uh, belt, the fine belt for the final polish. I'll take this off to make it a little bit easier. Put the guide back on. Okay, you can see the edge, hopefully. We'll see, who knows, maybe I made it worse. I'm not very good with uh, cutting the paper, so. So, as you can see, I touched it up a little bit. But, uh, definitely sharper than it was. So, I um, just wanted to show you guys that. I think it's a good deal. I actually was able to pick this up. I had a couple of credits on Amazon, which was the cheapest place I found it. I believe it is MSRP'd at around like 80 to 90 bucks, maybe. And I was able to pick it up on um, Amazon for... I think it was 69 bucks and then I had 20 bucks off so I got it for 49 but uh, still 69 is not bad so like I said I mean it can do all different kinds of things just depends on really what you you know want to put it to use for but I think it's uh, definitely worth picking up if uh, you don't have a sharpener currently on hand because it can do pretty much everything like I said with the guides so, like I said, uh, put the video up on here also of me uh, doing the axe. So that'll be attached to this. And if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. If not, uh, that's going to be it. Okay, guys, so I'm going to show you the uh, work sharp knife and tool sharpener. Uh, putting an edge on this old Craftsman. Uh, let's see, it's a. 5371 axe. I got this from my uh, wife's grandfather. It hasn't been used in a long time. 
So, let's put a little edge on it and show you guys um, how the work sharp goes. Here I have it in the uh, grinding position with the uh, green blade on it. Or uh, belt, I'm sorry. Back it up here. Back the camera up a little bit more. It's kind of getting in the way. I got a bench vice over here that's kind of getting in the way. see it it's got a pretty decent edge on it now just from a couple passes now they recommend for axes and hatchets just to use the uh, the green um, but you can actually fine-tune it with the red then if you want there's actually a chip out here I don't know if you could see that actually it'll probably do it a little bit more but um, it definitely has a much sharper edge than it did have so I'll do it up a little bit here and then I'll show you the final product. Okay guys, there you go. You can see the improved edge on the Craftsman uh, 5371 that I put on with the uh, Work Sharp knife and tool. So, did a pretty good job. You know, if it's uh, not as sharp as I like it, it's uh, my own fault really. So, not a bad job on it.